everybody. My name is Chris from Reading Town, and thank you for joining us today for Junior Times. So today we will talk about what's happening in America right now in the summer of 2016. Uh, they're trying to pick a new president, okay? And so the two really main people that will be president, it will be Hillary Clinton, this lady, and this another man named Donald Trump. Okay, so they're both trying to be the president, right? Who will it be? Well, let's find out. Fight for us! This month has been a momentous occasion, a very, very special and important event because for the first time in American history, a woman will be able to run for president. Her name is Hillary Rodham Clinton and she is one of the first females in politics, right? Politics is talking about the group of people that control the country. They control, you know, who becomes the next leader. They control the taxes. They control the bus system, the subway system. They are the ones at the top. They are the ones in the White House and in the Blue House for Korea. In the United States, 238 year history, it's a very short history, there has never been a woman on the presidential ticket of a major political party. So this ticket means who has a chance to become president. So she's not president yet. She's on the presidential ticket, meaning she has the chance to be the president. This has not been an easy climb for Hillary. She had to deal with difficult hurdles or difficult obstacles, problems along the way. So of course she's trying to become president, right? But it's not easy. She can just go, oh, I want to be president. Hey, let's be president. She has to be, you know, smart. She has to fight for, uh, you know, her chance. She has to, you know, solve problems, many more than men usually. One challenge was to gain enough support from her own group, the Democratic Party. So we have two sort of major groups. We have the Democratic Party, which is the Hillary uh, Clinton's party, and we have the Republican Party, the Democrats and Republicans, okay? The two party system. Um, many party members supported Bernie Sanders, another nominee instead. So in the Demo we have the Republicans and the Democrats. So inside the Democrats, they have to pick their winner, right? There's Hillary Clinton and another person named Bernie Sanders. So uh, he was winning, actually. He was another nominee. Nominee means a person who has the chance to become a president. Instead, also, Clinton all has continuously been attacked as a con artist or a liar or a dishonest person by Donald Trump. So from the Republican Party, the Donald Trump, he is attacking her saying she's a liar, she's not truthful, she's uh, dishonest. The opposing Republican nominee, right? The Republican Party. Trump is globally known, everyone knows him to ridicule or make fun of or tease other countries in his speeches, right? He said many ridiculous things about Mexico and North Korea and even China and everyone knows him for that. The 2016 American presidential election is turning out, is becoming one of the nastiest elections in recent history. Nastiest meaning they're really saying awful things about each other. You're a liar, well you're uh, an idiot and you're not, you're a woman and all these weird things. Clinton is determined. She really, really wants to beat Trump. Of course, Trump wants to beat her too. Many believe Trump poses a danger to world peace and is famous for stirring up anger and creating hate. Wow. So many people are saying Trump is dangerous because if he says or if he teases a different country, they will not be friends, there won't be peace, there will be fighting, there will be danger, there will be anger, there will be hate. With the endorsements from President Barack Obama, endorsement means President Obama supports Clinton. He's saying, 
My name is Obama. I endorse or I like Hillary Clinton. And Senator Elizabeth Warren, Hillary is ready to begin her fight for us in her, her campaign name, her project name in November. Okay, we have three review questions here. A, who is Hillary Clinton? This lady here, why is she important? She is the first female presidential candidate nominated by a major blank party in American history. So we have two parties, right? The Democratic Party and the Republican Party, right? So we're not talking about a dance party. We're talking about a party that means a group of people. And what do these group of people do? They control the country. They control the White House, they control the taxes, they control the laws. So this group of people, we say they are a political party. So politics is when we vote, right? We vote for president, we are voting for a politics, or we're voting for a political leader, someone to run the country, control the country, or manage the country. B, what challenges did Hillary face? Many Democratic Party members were split between her and another blank, Bernie Sanders. So we're not talking about the Republicans, we're talking about the Democratic Party, right? And inside, this was split. Half of them liked Hillary and half of them liked Bernie Sanders, right? These two people, we call them nominees. Nominees is a person that many people choose to be the leader. So when we have a classroom in school, right, we have to pick one class president. Well, we have to nominate one person. That person will be the nominee. We say, hey, David, he's a smart guy. He should be the president. Then we nominate him. C, why is the 2016 American presidential election predicted or guessed to be one of the nastiest in history? Well, because Republican nominee Donald Trump is well known. He's famous for blank and attacking others. So attacking others is not a nice thing, right? He's saying uh, bad things about them and he's also teasing them. He's also making fun of them. He's making jokes about them. And we say that it is rid ridiculing. We have the word ridiculous. Ridiculous, like you could have heard in Harry Potter, it means something that is not normal. It's just funny, it's teasing, it's a joke. So when we're ridiculing someone, we are making fun of them, we're joking about them, we're not being nice to them. Okay, we have three review terms here. A, this has not been a blank climb for Hillary. So when Hillary is trying to climb to the top to be the president, it was very, very difficult. It was hard. It's, it wasn't, you know, very, it was not easy. It was not easy. It was hard. There was a lot of problems. There were a lot of obstacles. B, Clinton is determined to blank Trump, right? So again, Hillary Clinton, She's going to VS or verse Trump, right? And of course, she doesn't want to lose. She wants to be the winner. And when you are the winner, you are uh, beating that person. So if team A beats team B, then team A is the winner because they beat them, right? They uh, sort of are, they were the victors or they had victory. They're the winners. C, many believe Trump poses or can be a blank to world peace. So again, because Trump ridicules many people, he makes fun of people, and he sort of you know, attacks other people or other countries, he can be you know, a problem when it comes to world peace. He's not going to help world peace. He's going to try to destroy he can destroy it. He can be a danger to world peace. So, to review, easy is the opposite of hard, it's difficult, right? Walking is easy for many of you, 
right? Beat means when there's two people or two teams and one team is winning, then, then one team is beating them. So winning and beating is the same thing. And danger is the opposite of safety. So when something is safe, you know, you don't have to worry, everything is comfortable, it's calm. But when something is in danger, somebody can be hurt, somebody can be you know, offended or can be sad or angry. All right? So like you and I, we are all living in a country, right? And we need to really study and pay attention who will be our president, who will be our leaders, because if our leader is a liar, then our country can be a liar as well. So let's all you know, pay attention to not only the US politics, but Korean politics as well. All right, so thank you for joining us for Junior Times. My name is Chris from Meeting Town. I'll see you next time.